What's up? Jeff Morris here of Think International. We're at the NACC with Byron Davis of Dream of Destiny. How are you doing, man? I'm doing well. Doing well. Happy to be here. Now, you work mainly on, on working to unify churches across um, all sorts of boundaries. Can you tell me just a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, one of the, the, the sad truths or big elephants in the room among uh, Christendom is that uh, we are still segregated along racial and yeah. cultural and socioeconomic lines. Yeah. And Dream of Destiny was created uh, to be an initiative that helps uh, Bible, uh, Bible colleges, uh, parachurch ministries and churches to foster more unity through diversity and do it in such a way that it no longer becomes an issue of racial reconciliation, right. but recognizing the way that we advance the gospel in a diverse America and abroad is to step out of our comfort zone and cultural silos sure. and engage other people who are different than we are. And that's what uh, we coach people to do. You know, it, it's, it's funny, like, as far as... Um, in America, for a long time, there's been the, of course, there's the racial segregation, you know, that that's, people have dealt with and stuff. But we haven't really touched upon so much the um, social economical segregation that takes place. Um, do you see that a lot in, in Bible colleges, churches, and whatnot? Yeah, you know, the, the scary monster in the closet, so to speak, yeah. is that uh, we nowadays in the 21st century attribute uh, racial diversity uh -huh. sure. um, and what we what we really mean is cultural difference yeah. Yeah, yeah. and what we tend to do is tie a cultural difference to a skin color and uh, what, what, what we really have to start to think about is we have to start to think about um, the different cultures that are cross-pollinating sure. in America and then how do we become more culturally intelligent how do we increase our cultural intelligence and IQ so that we're able to again uh, better to communicate on a very human very real very authentic level with other people that are different than we are now how, how do you suggest crossing those those cultures like mm -hmm. Like for you know, for a pastor out there that says, "Man, I would love that." Like one of the one of the big things is, is they say, "Well, whatever you put on stage, mm -hmm. you know, it will communicate to your to your audience what's welcome in your church." Yeah, yeah. I think the the way that we administer our ministry, sure, is um, plays a huge part in welcoming people of different cultures. Okay. For instance, very one that's obvious is your pulpit, the platform, what people see when they first. Uh, enter and engage your service from the uh, from the, the the parking lot all the way to the pulpit. If they see people that uh, either look like them or they don't even have to look like them, but they the people that are of different ethnicity. Sure. When you see a a, a montage um, or a mosaic of of diversity in an environment, even though that might not be your ethnicity, sure. you automatically feel a sense of comfort and of welcome. Then if you were to see one uh, race that was starkly different than your own. So one of the things, one of the practical low-hanging fruit that when I coach ministries, I'll tell them, uh, diversify, diversify your, your platform. Okay. But not just in skin color. That's good. Diversify That's good. your music. Oh, okay. Diversify. Don't just hire your worship, your, a black worship pastor and then call that diversity on the stage. <laughs> yeah, that's and, good. And, and instead, um, take the time to, to you have the worship pastor engage and empower uh, the musicians and the, and the singers to sing different type of types of worship music. Okay. A lot of times we get caught in thinking that worship only is, is there's only one style of worship. In fact, you know, we call it worship music. Right, right. But what we really mean is contemporary uh, uh, westernized Christian music. Yeah. And, uh, and worship is, is something broader and more beautiful than just something that we limit it to. Sure. Um, and so I, I challenge people and challenge ministry leaders to diversify their worship experience as well. Right. Do you think there's really something, though, to each organization understanding the culture in which they, they live in and really trying to reach out in, into that culture? Well, here's something that, that I think one of the challenges that we have as, uh, as, as believers. Um, we tend to do, fall into two categories. We tend to, to either criticize culture yeah. and think we have to combat culture, yeah. or we tend to think we have to copy culture in order to be relevant to that culture. Gotcha. When in fact, God has called us to actually create culture. And uh, if we can just take a page out of what uh, innovative companies like Apple and iTunes are doing, yeah. um, they're not trying to be relevant. 
they are focused on creating a culture that captures an experience that many people can relate to. Well, that's the Bible. That's, that's, right. that's the gospel. Right. The gospel was created not just for the Jews, but for the Gentiles. And the Gentiles, of course, is just the catch-all for everyone else other than Jews. Right, right. So we already have the strong message uh, that unifies and brings different cultures together naturally. All we have to do is do what we're responsible for in creating and then uh, acting on the, the tools and resources God has given us and the creativity that he's given us right. in order to engage those cultures and ultimately create culture that others are compelled to be a part of. Byron, that's incredible. So where can people out there find you, mm -hmm. find you know, Dream of Destiny? Well, you can go to dreamofdestiny.com okay. uh, in order to, 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 to find, and, and basically what we're doing on there, uh, especially over the next few months, is, is exciting. We're actually reaching out to and, and finding interesting people, ordinary people right. who are living extraordinary lives for Christ. Um, we, we're challenging people to watch their story, but more importantly, go out and live their own. It's awesome. Byron, thank you so much. Appreciate it. There you go. Think International NACC.